Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Ricky Barnes' golf swing. Very good iron player, not as good a driver historically. And if his golf swing comes around and he gets the driver figured out, uh, he'll be very competitive on the tour because he has uh, such good proximity to the pin numbers, great approach shots, good short game. And so let's take a look at this driver swing and see why it might not be as consistent as he would like it to be in terms of hitting fairways. So a good setup, very athletic player, incredible athlete, big guy, 6'2". As he goes back into the takeaway, it's always looking good at this point. Club face, great, playing really good, everything working back together. And as the club gets more up into the top here, we can see still going up on a nice swing plane. Not a lot of leverage in the wrist at this point. We'll see that a little more from the other angle. But as he gets up to the top here and changes direction, this is where it starts starts to become a little bit in jeopardy and as he starts this thing down like we said not levered as much as we'd like to see I'd love to see more hinge at that point but at this point here basically we see a more upright golf swing if we a club face it's pretty open and as he starts it down from that position that club face wildly open at this point. And the club a long way from the plane. And so uh, if his driver is getting sorted out, he will have figured out how to close the gap on this distance and get the club shallowing sooner. And also if you can get that club face closed sooner, it's going to help. But at this point, there is a large distance from the shaft to the swing plane which means at some point coming into this area here he will have to find a way to to get that club down to the plane and to the ball and that's usually a recipe for open faces and closed faces and different attack angles all kinds of things that hit the ball both directions unfortunately so there it is the hands way off the plane Club face pretty open and a lot of lag at this point. The hands are way ahead and it's easy to squeeze one off, you know, low shot to the right. But like I said, if the hands get active enough, uh, you can miss it both directions. And then as this thing comes around, you'll see a large rollover of the club face. More on some shots, less on others. But not being his coach. All I can see here is the state of this swing and how if it was to shallow better, at least then he could start to attack on the same angle every time. And he'd only have one variable, which would be the club face to figure out at the bottom, which is a little more how he plays his iron shots anyway. But super athletic player, incredible strength. And like I said, Played a ton of tournaments on tour, been successful, and if that driver becomes his buddy, he will be competitive. Now, when you watch from the face on angle hitting this driver far away into the takeaway here, we know he's on plane at this point. We saw that from the other angle. We talked about not seeing a lot of leverage or a lot of hinge. There's some hinge there, not as much maybe as we'd like to see. And this lateral shift. To, the, to his sort of front foot and leaning into it, something I'm sure he's very aware of and has worked on. And the more he moves forward, when everything's moving this direction, body, hands, club, all those things, the club will eventually have to be attacking on a steeper angle down to the golf ball. And as we know, drivers don't like it when you hit down on them. They don't like any kind of steep steepness at all they like width they like that club to stay out here wider and they like to come down shallower so you can hit level to the ground or ideally up a couple degrees to really maximize those launch and spin numbers so as he leans forward on this thing if he gets too far forward that then becomes a problem because we know the plane was a little steep then he has to recover it and at this point here you know, there's a a lot of lean on the shaft and a lot of his shots, I'm sure, where the club shaft is probably, you know, leaning quite a bit forward. And that's just up to time out that shot. 
de-lofts the club face, could change the launch angle to where you don't like where it is in terms of launching it too low possibly. So as he gets this thing back here, it's gonna be very interesting to watch this week and see how his swing might have changed. Is he still leaning forward on it or has he learned to sit down more sitting back more on this back leg, which would then change the dynamic of the plane and the release point. Okay, looking at the iron swing from face on, first looking at the grip here, Quite a weak left hand position. Left hand turned that way more than a lot of guys, similar to the Bryson DeChambeau grip. A little different, similar. Right hand, fairly neutral. And with this swing as he goes up, we'll see a little more hinge as he gets this thing working up like a lot of players would get an iron with the butt end pointing down a little sooner than you would with a driver. And more overall hinge in the wrist, which is, you know, Part of being a good iron player, you're gonna have some good hinge in there, at least somewhere in the backswing normally on the way up, certainly like maybe a Sergio more on the way down, but it's gonna get hinged. And because the ball is on the ground, he can't make quite as drastic of a slide move. He's, he's gonna still move, but he won't move as much because with the ball on the ground, the low point of the swing is much more, uh, you have to be more precise to catch that ball solid. So his, his instincts won't let him move too far forward. And as he comes in, gets into great impact position. You can really see the handle leading, leading the club head here. Quite excessively compared to some players, that left wrist really bowing down because that club face was so open on the way down. If we back up here just for a second, we can see at this point, that club face is really open. If he doesn't start rolling it down, it's gonna be trouble. Well, the club face that open, like we saw with the driver, is trouble. It's harder to close that up at the right time, swinging through with a driver on those angles. But with an iron, you can get that thing rolling down, trapping it into the ground. You can even see the flexing of the shaft here as he goes in and traps it. And you can see all the stress through the hands and arms, forearms, hanging on there to keep that face as under control as possible. So following up on the ironed part of the video here, this is a fairway wood off of a low T. Love the position here. Like I said, as he goes up, gets it up there vertical. Little cup in the left wrist, face more open. Goes a little forward, not as much on this one. And once again, look at that club face. Pretty open at that point. And he's gonna roll it through there with the arms. You can see the arms doing a lot of work there. At the bottom of the arc, a lot of twisting of the club, forearms, hands, shaft rotating. And that much rotation can be hard to, to control when you get really long clubs in your hands. It's not as hard to control that when the plane's a little steeper and a little more loft to work with. A lot of those numbers that would come out on a launch monitor match up better for an iron with this motion, but it's tougher as you get farther from the ball and less loft on a club to make all those numbers match up. And here it comes into the finish. Not a lot of hinge or rehinge. Just strength, athleticism, and clearly, since he's a pro, he's been out there for a long time, he knows how to play golf, he knows the mental game. It's if he can get this longer swing more consistent, I think we would see his name more often up on that leaderboard. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Ricky Barnes, and we'll see how he does this week. Thanks so much for watching, and if it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like the video as well. Feel free to share it with your buddies, and we will see you in the next one.